Okay, so there's this signal from deep space, right? It's pointing to a planet that's totally messing with what we thought we knew. It's like, what if everything we understand about the universe is wrong? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has found some crazy stuff that could change how we think about life. But is Proxima be a new Earth, or is it a deadly trap hidden way out there? The JWST, which a lot of folks see as our best tool in space, took a look at Proxima B. This planet orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star. People have been excited about it for a while. Now, the JWST is giving us a real close-up, and what it's showing us is wild. We spotted Proxima B back in 2013, but we couldn't really see what was going on until the JWST came along. It can get infrared images, so we could peek at Proxima B's air. What we saw made everyone excited and a little worried. Proxima B is super close to its star, only about 7.3 million kilometers away. That's less than 5% of the distance between Earth and our Sun. Because it's so close, it goes around its star in just 11.2 Earth days. But get this, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, not like our Sun. Red dwarfs are known to be pretty wild, shooting out solar flares that can mess up planets. The JWST gave us the clearest look at Proxima B yet, and we saw some strange things. It's about 30% bigger than Earth, so it has stronger gravity. But here's the kicker, Proxima B might be tidally locked with its star. That means one side always faces the star, so it's always daytime. The other side is always in darkness. Can you imagine a planet where the sun never sets on one side, and it's always night on the other? That's a tough place for anything to live. The side facing the star would get fried, and the dark side would be frozen solid. Could anything survive that? It seems unlikely, but you never know. And there's more bad news. Proxima Centauri itself is a danger to Proxima B. The JWST showed that the star is way more active than we thought. It sends out strong solar flares that hit Proxima B with a ton of energy. One flare in 2021 was 100 times stronger than anything we've seen from our sun. That kind of blast could strip away the planet's air, leaving it open to space. Some scientists think that because it's so close to its star and gets hit by so many flares, it probably can't support life. But others think life might find a way. Maybe there are creatures on Proxima B that have learned to live in that crazy environment? Or is the planet just a dead rock? We're still checking out Proxima B with the JWST, and we're sure to find more stuff out. But one thing's for sure, this little planet, only 4.2 light years away, is way stranger than we thought. Could it hold the secret to how life can exist in the universe? And if so, what does that mean for finding aliens? One of the biggest shocks from the new information about Proxima B was the state of its air, or possible lack of it. The radiation from Proxima Centauri, plus the planet's close orbit, means Proxima B is constantly getting blasted by solar wind and high-energy stuff. Over time, that could have wiped out its atmosphere, leaving it empty and cold. But some scientists think Proxima B might still have a thin atmosphere, maybe made of heavier gases like carbon dioxide or nitrogen. That could give it some protection from the star's radiation. The JWST has also given us the best look at Proxima B's surface, and it's pretty interesting. It looks like it's rocky, like Earth, but different. The side facing Proxima Centauri is probably burning hot, like a desert. The dark side could be frozen, colder than anything on Earth. But the most interesting part might be the twilight zone, where day meets night. That area might have milder conditions where water could exist. And where there's water, there's a chance for life. Could this twilight zone be a hidden spot where life has managed to survive? Another cool thing is the possibility of water on Proxima B. If there's water, it's probably ice on the dark side, or small amounts of liquid water in the twilight zone. But the really surprising thing is that there could be oceans under the surface, like on some moons in our solar system. These oceans could be heated by the planet's core or by the pull of Proxima B star. If those oceans are there, they'd be a great place to look for life hiding under the ice. But the magnetic field of Proxima Centauri makes things complicated. 
Some new studies suggest that the star's magnetic field could mess with the planet's core, making Proxima B have its own magnetic field. That could protect the planet's air from being totally stripped away by the solar wind, like how Earth's magnetic field protects us from the sun. But everything is not easy. Those strong flares from the stars could beat the planet's magnetic defenses, leading to big changes in the planet's weather and surface. All of this raises a lot of questions. Does Proxima B have a magnetic field? How strong is it? And how does it affect the planet's air and how life could live there? Could life on Proxima B have learned to survive the harsh conditions? And if life does exist, what would it be like? Would it be totally different from anything on Earth, or would it be similar to the creatures that live in Earth's toughest environments? While the idea of a place to live orbiting Proxima Centauri is great, the reality is that it's not very friendly. The JWST has given us a good idea of the problems any life on Proxima B would face, and it's not looking good. One of the biggest problems is the radiation from Proxima Centauri. It's much smaller and more chaotic than our sun. Because Proxima B is so close to it, it's constantly getting hit with strong solar radiation, with flares that are 100 times stronger than what our sun gives out. These flares produce a deadly mix of radiation that would kill any life similar to what we have on Earth. And these effects aren't just guesses. In 2021, we saw a huge flare from Proxima Centauri, and it was strong enough to potentially wipe out any air that Proxima B might have had. That shows how dangerous red dwarf stars can be, and it makes it less likely that Proxima B is a safe place to live. Also, all that radiation would make the surface of Proxima B a very harsh place. Any water on the surface would quickly turn into vapor, and the rocky ground would be burned. The dark side of the planet wouldn't get direct radiation, but it would be freezing cold. With such a big difference between the hot and cold sides, it's hard to see how life could survive there. Even though the signal from Proxima Centauri is still a mystery, the idea of actually getting to that star system is becoming a real possibility. The Breakthrough Starshot Project, led by some smart scientists and supported by people like Stephen Hawking and Yuri Milner, wants to send tiny spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima Centauri. The plan is to launch thousands of tiny spacecraft, each about the size of a stamp. These starships would be pushed by strong lasers, reaching speeds of up to 20% of the speed of light. The goal is for the spacecraft to travel to Proxima Centauri for about 10 years, where they could send back data about the star system and its planets, including Proxima B. It's a big challenge, but the payoff could be huge. Knowing the secrets of Proxima B, whether it has life or not, could change how we understand life in the universe. So, what if Proxima B... This weird planet holds the answer to life in the universe. The search for life outside Earth is a big goal for us, but as we learn more about Proxima B and other planets, we're realizing that life might be different from what we expect. Proxima B might not be the paradise we hoped for, but it could be an important step in our search for knowledge about the cosmos. We're just starting to look for life in the universe, and Proxima B is leading the way. The question is, will we ever know its secrets? Only time, the JWST, and projects like Breakthrough Starshot will tell. Maybe Proxima B, with all its challenges, is not just a planet to study, but a look at our future. The search for life, whether in our solar system or on other planets, shows our curiosity and desire to understand the universe. What we find out about Proxima B could shape how we explore space in the future, giving us important information about where life could exist. But even if Proxima turns out to be a tough place to live, what we learn from it could help us understand other planets. Maybe we'll find worlds that are more friendly, more like Earth, where life has found a way to survive even in difficult situations. We'll keep searching for knowledge, pushing the limits of space exploration, and finding more mysteries that will change how we see the universe. Proxima B is a symbol of the challenges we face and a reminder of the amazing possibilities out there. It might have life, or it might not, but it's important because of the questions it makes us ask and the that it inspires. With new tools and tech like the JWST, we're closer than ever to answering one of the biggest questions, are we alone? As we keep studying Proxima B with JWST, we'll probably find out more secrets. 
but it's clear that this little planet is way more weird and interesting than we ever thought. Could it hold the key to understanding how life can exist in the universe? And if so, what does that mean for us when we're looking for life on other planets? One of the biggest surprises was the planet's atmosphere, or maybe the lack of one. The radiation from Proxima Centauri, plus the planet's close orbit, means that Proxima B gets hit with a lot of solar wind and high-energy stuff. Over time, that could have wiped out its atmosphere, leaving it bare and cold. But some scientists think Proxima B could still have a thin atmosphere made of heavier gases that could protect it a bit. JWST has also given us the best look at Proxima B's surface. It seems rocky, like Earth, but with some big differences. The side facing the star is probably super hot, like a desert, while the dark side is frozen. But there might be a strip of land in between, called the Twilight Zone, where things are a bit milder. There, liquid water might be able to exist, which is important for life. Could this area be a hidden place where life has managed to survive? Another cool thing is that there might be oceans under the surface, like on some moons in our own solar system. These oceans could be warm because of the planet's core or because of Proxima B's orbit. If they're there, they'd be a great place to look for life. Of course, it's not all good news. Proxima Centauri's magnetic field could mess with the planet. Some studies say that the star's field could interact with Proxima B's core, creating its own field. This could protect the planet's atmosphere from being totally destroyed. But the star's flares could still be too much for the planet to handle, causing big changes in its weather and surface. So, there are still a lot of questions. Does Proxima B have a magnetic field? How strong is it? And how does all of this affect whether life can exist there? Could life on Proxima B have changed to survive the tough conditions? And if there is life, what would it be like? Would it be totally different from anything on Earth, or would it be similar to the creatures that live in crazy environments here? Even though it's cool to think about a planet around Proxima Centauri, it's not exactly a friendly place. JWST has shown us how hard it would be for life to exist there. One of the biggest problems is the radiation. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, which means it's smaller and more chaotic than our sun Proxima B is so close to it that it gets blasted with intense solar radiation and flares that are way stronger than what we get from the sun. This radiation would be deadly to most life forms. In fact, a huge flare was spotted in 2021, and it could have stripped away any atmosphere that Proxima B had. It's a good reminder of how dangerous red dwarf stars can be. Because of the radiation, the surface of Proxima B would be a really tough place to live. Any water would quickly evaporate, and the ground would be scorched. The dark side wouldn't be any better because it would be freezing. Even so, the idea of getting to Proxima Centauri has gone from science fiction to something we could actually do. An initiative called Breakthrough Starshot wants to send tiny spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima Centauri, in our lifetime. The plan is to launch thousands of these tiny spacecraft, each the size of a postage stamp, into space. They'd be pushed by powerful lasers, reaching crazy speeds. The goal is for them to travel to Proxima Centauri and send back data about the star system and its planets. It's a big challenge, but the payoff could be huge. Finding out what Proxima B is really like, whether it has life or not, could change how we think about life in the universe. So, what if Proxima B holds the secret to understanding life in the cosmos? As we learn more about it, we're realizing that life might not be what we expect. Proxima B might not be a paradise, but it could be an important step in learning about the universe. The search for life is just getting started, and Proxima B is showing us the way. But will we ever find out its secrets? Only time will tell, as we keep exploring with telescopes and initiatives like Breakthrough Starshot. Maybe Proxima B is more than just a planet to study. Maybe it's a window into our future. The search for life out there is a reflection of our curiosity and our desire to understand the cosmos. What we find out about Proxima B could shape how we explore space in the future, giving us clues about where to look for life on other planets. And even if Proxima B turns out to be a tough place to live, the lessons we learn from it could help us find other planets that are more like Earth, where life has found a way to thrive. 
We'll keep pushing the limits of space exploration, and we'll no doubt find even more mysteries that will challenge what we know about the universe. Proxima B is a reminder of the challenges we face when exploring other worlds, but it also shows us the amazing possibilities that are out there. It's a planet that might not have life, but it's important because of the questions it raises and the that it inspires. With better technology, we're closer than ever to answering a big question, are we alone?